When he was 20 years old, Sidney's grandmother co-signed a $100,000 loan which allowed him to begin renovating shotgun houses in New Orleans. Sidney loved renovating houses, but more than anything, he loved putting the deals together. Sidney developed over $70 million in commercial and residential real estate throughout the New Orleans metro area. In 2005, Sidney was slated to start developing a 70-unit condominium complex on the Monday that Hurricane Katrina made landfall. At 7.38 this evening, we are continuing to track Hurricane Katrina. Today's Wall Street Journal profiles the local entrepreneur, Sidney Torres, who recently won the trash collection contract. New Orleans has a new Mr. Clean. You are doing something that it seems no one else has been able to do. They are the guardian angels of sanitation. And from there, instead of just letting it go, he does what really good entrepreneurs do. He takes it to the next level. This is the first time the bull sweeper is being used in the United States. The waste company, SDT, isn't just picking up trash, it's putting in trees. Trash man Sidney Torres is cleaning up. He is selling SDT waste and debris. We bought this company because it's a well-run company. Well, I think what you have is when you look at the way Sidney has marketed his business, is different than the normal marketing salespeople knocking on doors. And what we're going to do and what we're going to take is the best ideas that he has and use to incorporate that within our company. Torres says the deal was finalized around 1.40 this morning. The money hitting his bank account around 10. Well, the former owner of SDT Waste and Debris Services now owns a resort property in the Bahamas. Yes, Sidney Torres bought the Cova Luthra Resort for $1.8 million. Well, just three months after touring the multi-million dollar Cove Resort development on Eleuthera, Prime Minister Perry Christie is impressed at the facility's progress. Prime Minister Christie assured property owner Sidney Torres of his government's support in making the development work. New at 10 tonight, New Orleans businessman Sidney Torres has decided to sell a beachfront resort in the Bahamas. The 40-acre resort has been sold to the Enchantment Group. Torres bought the resort a few years ago and fixed it up before selling it. Torres has recently become more active in the campaign to keep the French Quarter safe. As police forces across the country are cut in size due to budget pressures, Private security teams are being brought in to fill the gaps. In fact, there are about twice as many private security officers as there are publicly funded cops in the U.S. The result is often messy and complicated. But in New Orleans, an entrepreneur teamed up with a rocket scientist to create an innovative program that might just be a model for the nation. NBC's Cynthia McFadden shows us how it works. The 78 square blocks of the New Orleans French Quarter have a new sound. <laughs> it's part of a seven-month-old program, sort of a Uber for cops, riding three souped-up ATVs and fielding calls directly from <laughs> citizens on their iPads, off-duty police patrol 24-7, complete with guns and the ability to make arrests. There's a guy beating the out of another guy. From drug deals... I, that's what I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? ...to robbery. Yeah, it's an innovative program for a city where crime was out of control. Rapes were up 39% last year, armed robberies 37%. State troopers were brought in to help a police department historically mired in corruption. But more seemed to be needed, and that's when Sidney Torres stepped in. Torres, a real estate developer, made a fortune in the trash business after Katrina. They used to call me the Trashy Nova. <laughs> he teamed up with Bob Sims, a retired rocket scientist. I think we're uh, Batman and Robin, you know. Their bat signal went up when burglars broke into Torres' home. The French Quarter is under siege by criminals. He took out an ad. We should hold the administration accountable. You struck a nerve with the mayor who was none too pleased by this. What did he say? If it's so easy, maybe he should just take some of that money and, and do it himself. And I'm like, wait a second. If he really lets me, I would. Tour has spent $500,000 of his own money buying the ATVs, paying off-duty officers 50 bucks an hour, and creating an app so people could report crime directly to the cops on patrol. It's made response time mere minutes. So if there's a call, 
Like, there's one now. There's there two, is. There's two now. So tell the truth. Did you think it was a crazy idea? I thought it was absolutely crazy. But even the chief of police has become a believer. It had immediate effects because the visibility was so great and the response to crimes was so fast. And crime did start to fall right away. Even the mayor changed his tune. So you and Sidney Torres started out throwing a few punches. First of all, we've been friends for our entire lives. So I basically challenged Sidney and I said, well, you know, if you're such a big shot, put, put your money where your mouth is. Quit and talking, he did. put your money. And, and you know, to his credit, he did. And in seven months, violent crime is down a whopping 45%. Yep. Yeah, he's been following me for like blocks and blocks and blocks. The success means fewer calls coming through the app. Why we've got fewer app calls is, is because we're safer. It's not rocket science. <laughs> you had to work that in, didn't you, Bob? <laughs> Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, New Orleans.